100.5 FM Jessup Big Dog Country. Are you thinking of selling your home or business? Hi, I'm Gloria, and as a realtor, I know that getting rid of the clutter in your home is one of the best ways to help sell your house quickly. At Jessup Premium Storage, our family-owned company provides a convenient and secure building for all of your storage needs. We now offer outdoor covered parking for that antique car, boat, or RV. Due to our recent expansion, we offer units that range in size from as small as a bedroom closet to as big as a one-car garage. All of our units are inside and climate controlled with 24-hour access and security. Our leases run month to month, so you're not locked into a long-term commitment, giving you the flexibility to move your belongings out the minute you purchase your new home. Stop by today or give us a call, 530-8003. That's 530-8003. Jessup Premium Storage. The cool, clean, and secure. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazen Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Merry Christmas from Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear. Come enjoy the Ford Holiday Sales Event. Our gift to you is 0% for 60 months plus $1,000 rebate on new Focus Fusion and Escape. Come by the best-selling truck in the world. Up to $10,000 off on select 2015 Ford F-150s. There is excitement in the air at Mike Birch Ford. Come see our brand new dealership. Christmas time is here. Buy a new Ford and we'll give you five free oil changes while in factory bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty. At Mike Birch Ford, you can save money now. Ford Holiday Sales Event is going on. You can choose your deal, 0% and rebates just in time for Christmas. Timmy Roser, Joy Lee, Bart Duncan, Tracy Ross, or Randy Williamson will show you the best deals. This is Sammy Dixon, and we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And remember, thank you. Thank you very much for your business. This is Bill Parker with Parker Insurance and Realty, your locally owned and operated independent insurance agency. We specialize in home, auto, commercial, ATV, motorcycle, and boat insurance. Being an independent agency, we have the ability to find you the best price available to suit your insurance need. At Parker Insurance and Realty, we can help you package your insurance or find the specialty insurance required to get you covered. We are your resource for any real estate needs, whether buying or selling, we can help you. Give us a call today so we can discuss your insurance or real estate needs. Parker Insurance and Realty, 265 South Macon Street, 427-9345. That's 427-9345. All right, Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO, 105.5 FM in Jessup. 53 degrees here in southeast Georgia. Variable climate today, high today around 72. It's now time for the world-famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by B&C Collision Center in Scriven, Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear, Jessup Premium Storage out here on the Waycross Highway, and also brought to you by Parker Insurance and Realty, located on Macon Street in downtown Jessup. And Bob, well, we, you know, George Moxley came in here a few weeks ago and announced the fact that he was uh, moving on to um, other things. And so the Unity Church of God uh, has got themselves a new pastor, and we've got him in here this morning. Yes, we do. Mr. Calvin Anderson, how you doing? I'm doing good. Good to be here. How did this come by? That's what everybody wants to know. How did it come by? How did, how did it go from George Moxley to Calvin Anderson? Well, when I first got the call from our overseer, our state overseer, who's over all the churches in South Georgia, it began with just uh, as an interim pastor, which I started in August, and um, and that's what I thought it was going to be for two months. And then uh, after those two months, they began to look for a pastor, and uh, I became one of the candidates and a couple other ministers, and uh, I wound up receiving the vote and becoming the pastor, and that's the way it happened. Now, what were you doing before you... Uh became the interim pastor at Unity Church of God? I was an evangelist okay. with the Church of God. Me and my wife traveled, did uh, revivals, marriage conference, uh, special speaking engagements, and, and 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 also I was a member at the Unity Church of God, too. Mm -hmm. Now, you've got, uh, tell us about your, your past, your history, your roots, and that kind of stuff. Well, I'm from Wayne County. Uh, I'm a homegrown Wayne County boy, and uh, I pastor, well, started out at Gardai, what used to be Gardai Church of God. It's Victory Tabernacle now. And uh, I started out there in 1984 as a youth pastor, stayed there until 1988. 
then we went to a little town called Soperton, Georgia, mm-hmm. for our first pastorate, and we was there for 12 years, and just an awesome experience there. We went there, and only our first Sunday morning had nine people, and mm-hmm. uh, stayed there for 12 years, and then we came back here uh, and lived on Fifth Street uh, and evangelized uh, for some years, and after that, we went to Richmond Hill, and pastored there for four and a half years. And then we come back and we were evangelizing and went to the Sterling Church of God for just a short time. And after that, we went back because we enjoy evangelizing. We love people. And that's what we went back to. And after that, we wound up at the Unity Church of God as pastor. Okay. And a little bit about your family. Uh, I'm married to who was Sonia Hope, uh, Preston and Frankie Hope's daughter. And uh, I've been married to her and for about 32 years. And uh, we have three children, Hope Anderson, uh, Hagen, and Hallie. Hope's in Atlanta. Uh, she works with a lawyer's firm and uh, also still does modeling. Oh, she does, huh? Oh, yeah. She okay. still travels all over and does modeling. And then Hagen, our son, he's in the middle. He's in Lake Mary, Florida, Orlando. He's in the ministry. And our youngest daughter, Hallie, also, she's at Lake Mary. They both in the ministry together. And uh, we have two granddaughters, uh, Harper and Zoe. And uh, we got two grandsons on the way. And we'll wow. be here in April and May. So well, we all are excited about that. Well, good, good. So a lot of, I mean, just a totally Wayne County person, Wayne County uh, born and bred, and uh, did a lot of uh, different ministries and now. And what's your thoughts and feelings of being uh, the pastor of such a dynamic and big church like Unity Church of God here in Jessup? Well, you know, it's a, it's awesome. It's a, you know, a big responsibility. Uh, you know, pastoring is something you on call 24 hours a day. And, uh, but I, I, you know, I'd like to say, uh, it's a pleasure to be able to be there and, and serve the people, find congregation. And, you know, I think about what pastor George Moxley and that congregation, uh, the facility that they labored and, and built and, and, uh, many people's lives have been changed and touched through that place. And, uh, I just, I just want to come in and, and uh, continue to add to it and uh, continue to, to just contribute. And that's, that's what I'm here for. Now, the Unity Church of God has a, a core group of folks that have been there for a long time since the beginning of the church. They are, I guess, the, the leaders of the church and, and keep everything on track. Is that right? Yes. Yes. I mean, they, there's people that has been there from the duration of, of, of the groundbreaking. And uh, they're still there, and you know they they support, and they work with us, and uh, it's it's just truly been a blessing. Okay, now you've got somebody's got an experience next to you there who's in charge of children, right? That's right. That's Brother Tony Evans, and what's amazing, uh, I was amazed. In fact, he's been here this this past weekend a year with with the Unity Church of God. Pastor George Moxley brought him in. And uh, me and T- brother Tony Evans, we go we go back a long ways. Uh, we've known each other for many years, and uh, he traveled for years and still travels some. And he has he has done children's crusades. He comes to your church and ministers and children's crusades, and even goes into schools and does uh, you know uh, different things for the schools. And uh, he, he's truly a blessing. And not only is he a blessing, he is one of my best friends. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be back on doing? the Butch and Bob show. Yeah, you were here, I guess, uh, some a year ago, Tony, weren't you? Somewhere along there? Yeah, I came with uh, Pastor Moxley. Yeah. And uh, we missed Pastor Moxley. He was uh, a great asset to this community and a great asset to our church. But we're also very excited about having Pastor Calvin with us. Uh, Pastor Calvin's a very humble man. He doesn't, he doesn't say that he was extremely successful every place that he went. Uh, he started with nine people in Soperton, Georgia, but he finished with several hundred people at Soperton, Georgia. And uh, uh, when I was with him, the Crusades always got so big that we had to move out of the uh, out of the church into the into the gymnasium or the or the social town hall. And so uh, Calvin Anderson's a very blessed, uh, successful pastor, and 
Yesterday morning, I think I heard probably one of the greatest Christmas sermons that I've ever heard in 35 years. So we're very blessed to have Calvin Anderson at Unity Church of God. Good, good. Um, uh, you know, we've seen this in several situations, whether it be churches or government, whatever, where the interim comes in just for a while while they look for the permanent one. And then somehow the interim ends up becoming the permanent uh, pastor or official, whatever the case may be. Did you expect that when you became the interim? I, I be honest with you, I had no idea. And, you know, I, I'm a transparent person. I, I, you know, to, to be honest, I didn't want a church. I enjoyed doing what I was doing. Because pastor, like I said, you you know you're you're tied down uh, in, in a sense, really, uh, because you when people need you, they expect you to be there. If somebody's having a surgery or your deaths or whatever it is, they want you to be there, and and that's understandable. Uh, so I was enjoying what I was doing. I was in my little world doing my thing and enjoying life, and uh, and God put this before us and uh, we feel good about it and uh, the congregation chose us they felt good about it and uh, we just gonna give our best and and you know I want church to be a place uh, that you enjoy coming and it should be a pleasure and that's that's what I'm I'm that's my goal that's my vision to make it be a place of a pleasure to come Okay. Now, Tony, you're the, uh, the the children's minister there at Unity. I've got a strong children's program there, don't you? Uh, we've got a strong children's program. We've got some great kids. Uh, we have a tremendous nursery. Uh, we have uh, a launch pad, which is three, four, and five-year-olds. They have their own worship experience. And then six to nine-year-olds have a worship experience. And then 10, 11, and 12-year-olds are tweeners, and we're training them up to be leaders and to lead in worship and and leading prayer and helping every way. Okay. All right, Calvin Anderson, the um, the new um, pastor at Unity Church of God. Uh, any uh, plans laid out for 2016, or what's going on with that, um, Pastor? Well, we we're working on that now. Uh, my my big thing is, like I say, I I want to I want to come together with all the pastors. I'd like to say I'm not here to uh, compete. Church is not about competing, it's about ministering. And uh, my thing is, I just want to have a place where the presence of God is manifested and lives are changed and, and, and what a day that we're living in that we, we need to see people's lives changed. And, uh, you know, America was founded with God and it's almost like the morals uh, have, have lessened and have been dropped and, you know, people need to, get their morals back to where they need to be and, and trust God again. And I, I pray and, and hope that we can be a part to help lead people to God and uh, and find the, find the peace of God. You know, I told the church yesterday, you you can be broke and not have one piece of money in your pocket, but if you got the peace of God, you're a rich man. And that's the way I look at it. Okay. Bob, questions, comments for, um, for, for Calvin, Pastor Calvin this morning? Well, you mentioned you were a member of the church, so I guess the congregation felt good about you to make it pastor, so I guess that helped. Did you I, say that was a good thing for you? Well, you know, we had been coming there for quite a while, and the, the thing about it, we were members, but we wasn't there every Sunday because we were out ministering somewhere, so... Uh, you know, it was a little, little different, but the people knew us, and uh, and we love the congregation. Uh, it's got a good unity. Has a good personality. They, they do a lot of outreach. Uh, one of the things this time of the year too is uh, uh, the food pantry. Every Tuesday is uh, so many people come, and 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 they're they're fed, uh, and also the clothes closet we have it. And uh, you know, it's a big part of the church and uh, minister to a lot of people. Um, we've got the youth. We John, Pastor John Gray does our youth now. Jordan Dennison does the uh, does our music, and you know that's just a, an awesome thing too, and um, and, and a big part of it. And so, uh, you know, it's just a blessing to have all these people helping you. It really is. Okay, well, Calvin Anderson, the uh, new a permanent pastor now at Unity Church of God. It's only had one pastor in its history, now two. And Tony Evans in here, the children's pastor there at Unity Church of God. And Calvin, we look forward to working with you. We've had a good relationship with Unity Church of God for many, many years. And we look forward to, to continuing to, to do things together and help uh, promote events together. Amen. Uh, we, we long will work with y'all. And uh, just we, we just want to minister to Wayne County and see it see it blessed uh 
I'd also like to say we have Young at Heart every first Monday of the month. Uh, Sister Melissa Moxley, she does a fine job with that, and uh, it's just, just truly a blessing there. And a lot of the, the senior citizens from, from the whole community is invited, and they come and play bingo. We have a meal with them, and uh, that truly that truly has been a been a blessing, too. Okay, that's the first Monday of every month, you said? The first Monday of every month, right? That's the first Monday of every month, and it is sponsored by Sybil's Restaurant. Okay, yes. good. Yes. And Young at Heart has to be quite age and above. Uh, 60 and above. 60 and above. 60, 60 and above. And above. Okay. So uh, they, they have a big time. Usually about 165 comes, 165 wow. people come to that thing. And, uh, and you don't have to be a member. Anybody can come, right? Anybody can come. Uh, and they also give away uh, prizes uh, and, and gifts during during that thing. And it's, you know, the, the elderly people, they enjoy it. And it's truly a blessing to love them. Okay. Well, thank you very much for making time out of your busy set schedule to come in this morning. We, uh, uh, I was talking to someone at MDO Day and I said, have y'all chosen a pastor? He said, yeah. I said, well, we got to have him on the air. I didn't know that. So glad to have you on, uh, uh, Calvin, and uh, look forward to uh, you being pastor there for hopefully a long, long time. Well, we, we're looking forward to it, and we're going to give it our best. And uh, we just want to say that we appreciate Butch and Bob's show, and, and I listen to it faithfully. I want you to know that. <laughs> I was famous Butch and Bob. Yeah, yeah thank you very much. Yeah, I do. Pastor. I listen to it. And I want to say Merry Christmas to everybody, and I hope you have a blessed New Year. All right. Thank you very much for coming in. Calvin Anderson, the new pastor at Unity Church of God on Sunset Boulevard, along with uh, Tony Evans, the children's uh, minister there at Unity Church of God. We'll be back more of the world-famous Butch and Bob show in a minute. Enjoy the spirit of giving by getting the cash you need from First Franklin Financial. Come see your friendly Franklin folks, Crystal, Shanna, Randy, or Kathy at 1074 North Macon Street. Call us at 912-427-4237 or apply online at www.1ffc.com. Make this Christmas season so Something to sing about. Merry Christmas from all of us at First Franklin Financial. All offers subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties for over 13 years. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the only nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our new administrative offices, located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, have opened recently as phase one of our building project. Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak to someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. All right, 18 minutes after 8 o'clock, Big Dog Country Radio, 105.5 FM in Jess, a world-famous Butch and Bob show for this Monday morning. And Bob, the week of Christmas, man, it's just about here. Just about here. Four days away. Yeah. I know the kids are counting down, that's for sure. Yeah, the kids uh, here in Wayne County, of course, most of the school systems are probably off this week and next week. And um, so I'm sure they are sleeping in this morning and enjoying their Christmas holidays as they get ready for that big uh, day coming up on Friday. And, uh, boy, lots of football yesterday. I cannot believe the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers game. I mean, like they were just going to get blown out uh, against Denver. And then somehow they just shut them down the second half and winning that game. I mean, that was just amazing, wasn't it? Great comeback. Great second half adjustments. But uh, Denver, uh, I was listening to AM 1370 Fox Sports coming in. They said they were listening to the Denver broadcast, and they said they thought that uh, the Denver announcers were saying they thought the quarterback was scared in the second half. So, scared? Yeah, they said if Peyton Manning would have been in there, Pittsburgh would have got killed. So, so anyway, I don't know if that's true, but Pittsburgh played well. I mean, Antonio Brown and Roethlisberger, if you, anybody playing fantasy football, I know that's just a fantasy combination that's just been money in the bank. So mm -hmm. Antonio Brown's having a great year, one of the best receivers in the league. But tremendous comeback, had to have it. They're right now in the second wild card spot. So if they win the next two games, they can get in the playoffs. And once you get in, then anything's possible. So right. they're on a good roll. So 
feeling better about this. You know, they got a win at Baltimore, win at Cleveland, so hopefully they can do that. But I'm excited. It was a big win. Like I said at halftime, it wasn't looking too good. No, it wasn't looking too good. Uh, a great comeback. In fact, the shutout in the second half was, you know, I didn't. I didn't. I mean, you let a team just basically score a will the first half, and you shut them out in the second half. It's just amazing how that happens. What happens in that locker room at halftime? We've seen this in so many games. I'm sure Mike Tomlin got their attention. I said he's a great coach. I love Steeler coach Mike Tomlin. So okay. He's got a couple of Super Bowl wins already, so hopefully he can get back. But Roethlisberger's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. I mean, he's just fun to watch. I don't know why I threw that interception late in the game, though. That was, that was okay. Yeah, well, what was that about? I, I don't understand that. I don't even know. I, my friends were tweeting, what are we throwing the ball for? I had no idea. <laughs> Everybody else was wondering the run, same thing. Run the clock, run the, I don't know. But they, they got out of there, got the win. That was big. Falcons ruined the Jaguar season. Yeah, they that did, didn't they? So, I mean, just sold out down there. So that they, they worked out good. Yeah, Jacksonville just can't stand for I mean, I don't know. They can't win a home game. Every time they go out and win a road game and they come back, you think they're going to win a home. They can't. They can't. They can't beat San Diego at home. Can't beat Fallon. I don't know what's going on. Just sad. But it was a big cry down there. So I cried. Yeah, big cry. A lot of red. It was from the joke in the joke up in the locker room or in the press box was all that red's for Christmas. It's not. That. <laughs> yeah, they're, right. they're like right. Yeah, those are Falcon fans. They're like, no, that's Chris. Everybody's wearing red for Christmas. Yeah, a lot of Falcons fans we came down from Georgia and. Uh, Jacksonville yesterday to watch the game. The big story in the NFL, of course, the the Panthers and the Giant game. You see oh man, that was something else, wasn't it? So, be interested how much fines they hand out to Odell Beckham for all that foolishness. So, why he wasn't thrown out of the game? Coffin's getting a lot of heat for not pulling him out of the game. I mean, he just totally lost his composure and acted like a fool in that game. So. They say he's ruined his whole reputation in one game. So mm. it was just. Now, I didn't see all what he did. What did he do? Uh, I can't. I can't even describe. You can't describe it. it. I mean, he pretty much attacked the defensive back and made some cheap shots and oh, just. Uh, I mean, it okay. was just. It's the talk of a and thirteen seventy Fox Sports well, today. I'm to Dan Fox. Patrick at nine o'clock yeah. when I get off the air. Then, but a heavy fine will be coming. Possible suspension. I mean, it's just he pretty much played like a. It's just it was bad. Mm -hmm. Not good. But like I said he'd had that. Great reputation, one of the best receivers, one-handed catches and all that. They said he ruined his reputation in one game. Oh, wow. But they really got on Coughlin in the post-game show. Wouldn't know why he didn't pull him from the game. But and he got, he got and Coach Coughlin said why? He just said he wanted him to learn from his mistakes. But he, he was penalized three different times for, you know, vicious hits and stupid penalties. And just uh, they said that the officials should have took control and threw him out of the game, but they never did. So it was just... It's, I promise you, it's all on video. It's all the talk of sports. Yeah, well, I listen to it and see some of it Everybody's talking about it. So, but Odell Beckham took a hit in his reputation as one of the better players in the league. I mean, now he's just, even the defensive back that covered him said he, he showed his true colors. Mm. So, we'll see how it all plays out and see what the NFL decides to do about it. But I'm sure you'll be hearing about it in the next couple of days. But it, again, if you want to hear about it, you can turn it into. AM 1370 Fox Sports. I'm sure Dan Patrick, Jim Rome, they all have their own oh, comments. Yeah. So. yeah, I can't wait to hear what Dan Patrick get, and Jim Rome is saying. Big topic of today. All right. 823 WIFO FM in Jessup. And uh, so it was a great game down there yesterday in Jacksonville. Now, uh, Jacksonville is on the road for the last two games, aren't they? Yeah, they're done for the season, you know, which was much to the light of a lot of those reporters up in the press box. <laughs> They're like, Happy New Year came early for them. So they're, they're ready just to, to head on home, huh? They're ready to head on home. They don't have to go to Jacksonville Stadium anymore. So but I think they, um, I know they go to Houston the last game of the year. Uh, they go to New Orleans. New Orleans. Orleans. They're New Orleans, New Orleans then Houston. New Orleans, yeah. Houston, yeah. The yeah. Falcons get the Panthers coming in this coming right. Sunday. That'll be fun. Yeah. The Panthers at home this coming Saturday, uh, Sunday for the um, Falcons, and then they finish out the season at home against New Orleans Saints. So they finish the season against their two biggest rivals. Yeah. The Panthers still undefeated. You know, for the last three teams that started 14, they went on to play in the Super Bowl. So the Panthers got to be feeling pretty good about that track record. So. Very good football team, offensively and defensively, and they've just pretty much destroyed their opponents in the last couple of weeks. So, see how the Falcons handle the Panthers on Sunday. I know they got whipped by them a couple of weeks ago, so let's see what happens um, this weekend. There's a lot of teams still alive in the playoffs. A lot of teams eliminated yesterday. Falcons and Jaguars still mathematically alive for a playoff spot, but 
the chances are very slim for either one to make the playoffs. Okay. And more about watching this week. Georgia Southern in action Wednesday night. We'll have that game for you here on Big Dog Country, taking on Bowling Green. I know a lot of people heading up there think Matt's going right. Too. Yep, over to Mobile, Alabama, heading over there to Southern Alabama, out there on the coast to, to watch Georgia Southern play. Georgia Southern found their new head football coach, didn't they? Yeah. Ty Summers. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see how he, he turns out, defensive mind of coach. And so it'll be interesting to see who puts in his, his, uh, his team there. Native of Tifton, Georgia. Okay. A Georgia boy. Mm -hmm. Been at Georgia Southern, near the city coast. Defensive backs one year at Southern under Van Quarter. So. But he's been to Central Florida, been to Colorado State. Like I say, he's been at seven schools in 15 years. So. Okay. Moving up the ladder. He's huh? been around. So coming back home to Georgia. Now he's moving up to head coach. Wish him well. Yeah, we wish him well. That's a very successful um, tenure there at uh, Georgia Southern. All right, what else is going on, Bob? Anything news-wise? There's no news going on. There's no news going on. Everybody's ready for the Christmas. I mean, no city, no county, no school board, no nothing. So No, no nothing, huh? No nothing. Okay. But uh, folks do need to be prepared uh, to make sure that you don't text and drive or drink and drive during the holidays. I've seen the public service announcements with Governor Deal and heard them on the radio also. They're going to get serious about saving lives during the holidays. It's been a bad year going Georgia roads this year. I said for several years they declined the number of fatalities, but it's at an all time high this year. But they attribute to texting and driving. I said a lot of single vehicle crashes throughout the state of Georgia. So again, be smart. No texting, no driving. You know, mm -hmm. you say it over and over and over, but unfortunately people don't don't take the Well, we all feel that we're going to be the one person that can text and always drive and not going to be affected by it. Yeah. It's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth your life. And they say you, when you pull up to a traffic light or a stop sign or, or situation, you're not supposed to pull out your phone and text in either. If you're in that vehicle, motor's running, you're on the public road, don't text and drive. It's against the law. Just very difficult for them to enforce it and see it for folks, I guess. All right, anything else going on, Bob? Anything on your mind this morning before we head out to tackle today? Is that pretty much it? it? I said just Christmas week. Everybody's getting ready for the count the days down for Christmas. All right, we got a good day. All right, the world famous Butch and Bob Show brought to you by Parker Insurance and Realty, located on Macon Street in downtown Jessup, across from the Heritage Bank, by Jessup Premium Storage out here on the Way Cross Highway, BNC Collision Center in Scriven, and by Mike Birch Ford in Blankshire. Good morning. You're listening to the Big Dog. 53 degrees here in southeast Georgia, getting up to the um, low to mid 70s today, right around 72, with variable cloudiness today.